Hey everybody and welcome to Stock Abilities. I've covered dry ships plenty of times on here, but I'm going to cover it once more again after the earnings report reactions and going to cover my input in regards to that. So listen in and like the video and share the video as well if you want to let other people in on it. The uh, dry ship stock here has been going all over the place lately and it kind of crashed down a good bit in Thursday and then some excitement of the earnings report popped it way, way up there. And then, of course, it crashed down and down and down and down. Of course, you can't really tell the pop that occurred today. But looking at the day chart here, as you can see, it started out pretty good. It looked like it was going to run really, really well. And then it just kind of sank and sank and sank and sank with some pops here and there throughout the day that you could have had a chance to get into. And then it kind of crashed more and more and more. And then, of course, the earnings report hit, and a lot of people were reading it, got a little bit excited about it, and then, of course, it crashed right back down. Uh, a lot of the reasoning here, as you can see, it seems like they were planning on factoring in the earnings report. And if it was a good earnings report, uh, these shorts could cover fairly easily and make a good bit of profit on top of that. And if it was a bad uh, report, of course crashing and they make even more money so it's a win-win situation for them looks kind of manipulated as you can see if you looked at my Kalini video you can kind of see what I'm talking about as well but of course it's all the way up here at 580 and then it crashed all the way back down and it's settling at 445 now the earnings report wasn't the best but it wasn't the worst either so that is something to factor in now, some other things to take into consideration here is that they finally have enough funding to actually run their business properly. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to burn through those funds and screw things up and end up losing it all and uh, maybe doing another reverse split here or there. It kind of depends on how shareholders feel about it and the uh, shell contract, which I mentioned also in another drives video going a little bit further here. Just looking through their press releases, it doesn't look too bad, but then as you go lower and lower, you see that there's a lot of things going on, like their reverse split, and they had some other things going on too. And of course, there's debt, and then there's the offerings, and then there's all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it looks like they're sort of settling on getting on a straight and narrow path, but unfortunately, the stock is still being awfully manipulated. This is the earnings report here. If you guys didn't get a chance to check it out, the cash and cash equivalents, about $243 million, $6.70 per share. It looks good. And that part, and then you look here, and then the net about $95.3 million. Then, then you get into the bad parts here. You got third party loans. You got a loan facility balance about $142 million. You got a loan liquidity of about $57 million. And number of shares outstanding. And then, of course, uh, that's them being here excited. Have now restored our balance sheet and successfully raised over $300 million in new equity in the last 12 months. So it's ultimately how they spend that equity that matters. And then, of course, going a little bit further here, we jump to Seeking Alpha, who gets right to the point here of an APS of negative $54.16. That's not really that great. And as you can see with the revenue, $12.84 million, and they raised $300 million. And a lot of that they're going to have trouble paying back if this is their revenue stream. They need to increase their revenue somehow. They need to boost it and start making real money. Now, as you can see here, if you're not familiar with the EPS, I'll cover it here really quick for you. If a company earning $2 million in one year had $2 million common shares of stock outstanding, its EPS would be $1 per share in calculating EPS. Uh, the company often uses a weighted average of shares outstanding. As you can see here, it's not a good thing with their EPSs. And then you go a little bit further here, uh, as Benzinga would say, in other words, a rising BDI is good news for dry ships. However, at this point, it may be the equivalent to giving a gunshot victim a Band-Aid. In other words, the market itself is up quite a bit. Unfortunately, uh, dry ships is not doing so hot. Now with the money that they raised, there's promise for the long term. I wouldn't hold a large position, but I'd still hold a minor one just in case. I mean, it did pop up to uh, over, uh, I believe it was 100 per share not too long ago. So you might see maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, or even 60. 
over the long term, maybe within a year or two. Might some be some volatility pops up around there, but if you want to expect a holding price, uh, it's kind of a long term out. Uh, I wouldn't hold an incredibly large position. Those who are not familiar, BDI, uh, Baltic Dry Index, is an economic indicator issued daily by the London-based Baltic Exchange, not a restricted Baltic Sea countries. The index provides an assessment of the price of moving the major, major raw materials by sea, essentially the stock index of four shipping industry and that about covers the video now uh, I did mention that the pop wasn't too bad and the earnings report wasn't as bad as people were saying so it's kind of an overreaction of course I believe that the uh, potential for it is over five dollars for tomorrow and a pop but be careful because this is just a pop from the overreaction, and then it might stabilize, it might dip again. It's kind of a risky, volatile play for tomorrow. I may or may not play it. Kind of depends how it's looking in the pre-market and uh, all of that. So make sure to like and share this video if you prefer, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, if you like these videos. And, of course, comment below on what your opinion is on dries. Have a nice day.